Well, hot on the heels of the Rugby World Cup, we're delighted to announce that we'll be hosting the Japanese men's national team once again to BT Murrayfield uh, next year as part of our Autumn Test Series. Uh, we've got a great, proud history of playing uh, Japan um, and this will be a, a special game in just over a year's time. Of course, we just played them in the Rugby World Cup. It'll be nice to play them again so soon. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we love playing Japan. Um, it was pretty tough, the, the game in, in, the, in the Rugby World Cup. So this is a great opportunity to, to rekindle that, that match in some respects and, and welcome them to, to BT Murrayfield on the, on the 14th of November ne next year. Um, and of course, a relationship with Japan, which is a very deep relationship, is brought to life uh, here at Scotston in, in a couple of weeks' time when the, the women's national team takes on the Japanese national team. Um, so we've got a lovely relationship with Japan and we, we couldn't be more proud to, to host both the men and the women over the coming uh, month. Well, we started on a bit of a journey with the Japanese Rugby Union uh, back in 2014. We signed a, a strategic alliance with them to help develop the, the union and to, to learn from each other, which has been a really positive experience. And as part of that experience, we developed a very long and deep relationship with the city and prefecture of Nagasaki, where the national team had their training camp just ahead of the Rugby World Cup. And as part of that relationship, we've exchanged players, we've taken teams across to, to Nagasaki, We've hosted under 16 teams in Scotland from Nagasaki. Um, so the relationship that we have with, with Japan is very special from a rugby perspective, but also from a commercial perspective. We've got great Japanese partners like Mitsubishi, part of our sponsor family. And their television audience for that Japan-Scotland game in the Rugby World Cup was an incredible number. So we're very proud of the number of people around the world that know about our partnership, but also that are seeing that partnership brought to life through fixtures, sponsor and TV activity. And as you say, Scotland women play Japan women here at Scotland later this month. Uh, that was, must be a really exciting moment for you. Yeah, well, we're delighted once again to, to host um, big international fixtures here at, at Scotland. This is really becoming the home for the, for the women's national team. I'm very proud about that. Um, and to host the Japanese national team here in, in a couple of weeks' time will be very special. And I'm sure lots of people will want to, to watch that because it will be a special game.